Well, hello everyone. My name is Atiyah and thanks for joining me on today. I'll be coming to you with a review today on the Izunami irons. As you know, I was in New York maybe three weeks ago and I was amazed by this iron. As you know, I have already did a review on Pro Silk irons, Chi irons, FHI iron. I think the only review I haven't done an iron on is the Sedu, S-E-D-U. Um, but I was amazed by this iron. So what I've done today, I'm going to show you on how I complete my wrap look right now. I have not learned yet, but it's coming on how to curl with this iron as uh, Janelle in New York did. But I'm still trying to learn that as well. I always have to get out my big curler. But on today, I'm going to show you guys on how to get uh, a nice flat iron with this Izunami iron. On today, I will be using all three. Uh, the one and three fourths I'm going to show you is totally up to you if you have a lot of hair. Definitely, this would be the way to go. Or uh, the one inch, if you, you if you have a lot of hair, thick hair, I think the one three fourths this will be the way to go. But if you still want to use this, it's just going to be more time. But also, I'm going to show you how to use both of these. But if you have like short hair, if you want to get like to the edges, definitely use that to go like right here on the sides or near the, uh, the back part of your hair. I definitely use the smaller one. As well with this one, you can use the spike. You know, if you want to have ribbon curls, this would definitely work for that. So I hope you guys enjoy this review and stay tuned. Okay, let's start out with my shampoo and conditioner. I washed with new growing condition. And after that, I air dried and then I blow dried. Right now, nothing is in my hair but shampoo and conditioner and blow dry. That's it. So now right there is the one inch and right there is the wide style. I'm going to show you guys in this video how you can use both. It's just totally up to you on what you want to use. And towards the very end, I'm going to use the short style. So you have to definitely keep it locked and stay tuned for that. So right here I'm using the wide style. Just to show you, you can get that all at one time. But it depends on the bump you want. And that is kind of like a big bump. So what I did, I went back in with the one inch. And of course the one inch is a lot thinner and it just glides down longer. So it gives you that little, little hump at the end. So it's totally up to you on how you want to use your Izunami iron or any iron that you use. Um, if you want to go the wide way or you want to do the one inch, it's totally up to you. But of course if you have a lot of hair, definitely you got to stick with the wide styler. I mean you will be all day <laughs> flat ironing your hair with the one inch. So I'm just showing you guys that you can go either and see how the shine is great shine and I don't have nothing in my hair but shampoo and conditioner so we're moving on to the other side as you guys know when I did my first sew-in takeout you know I had to cut my hair on that side and as you can see it's kind of growing back very like a lot so I'm definitely proud of that but you know I'll be getting my sew-in uh, this week so uh, it will be up again so it's just growing out great and as you can see I do need a trim but since I'm getting my hair sewed in I don't I'm not gonna do that until like after I take my sewing out and um, do everything over again so right there I just want to show you guys how much is going back out and how well it blends right back in with the rest of my hair when I flat iron with the Izunami iron and right now I do not have uh, like a set regimen everybody's asking me to do a regimen I really don't have one right now because all I've been doing really is ignoring my hair wearing my wigs and washing every uh once every two weeks which is twice a month so that's all I've been doing so that's really not a regimen to post but later I'm sure I will have one so now we're gonna start on this side and it's closer to the bottom so everything's done in the back of my hair so right there I'm gonna start on the side with the one inch and as I go up I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, uh, use the wide styler just to get it all at one time and you're good so and like I said one stroke and you're done that's all you need for the Izunami And as I said it uh, before in my video, I have used them all. I have used the Chi Iron, the FHI, the uh, GHD, and the Izanami. All I have used every iron. So I'm just doing a re and I, as well Pro Silk. So um, I'm just doing reviews on these irons. And I'm like I said, I seen this in New York. So no one look at my gray hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
So, uh, nobody's uh, done one on the Izunami, but I'm so glad that I uh, saw this in New York. It is such a good iron, in my opinion. So, but definitely use what you have. If it does this job, what you see here, definitely stick to what you have. But it's a great iron. So there's the Y style. I'm going to show you just one flat and you're good. But you have to be careful because you want to get all the hair. But as wide as you want to go, it'll definitely take it with the Y style. So I'm going to go back in because it's kind of short to get right there on the side. So I'm going to do that. So we're at the top. We're almost done. So I'm going to go back in with the Y styler. So it's totally up to you, like I said, if you want to get it all, like if you're in a rush and your hair is my length, you can do your whole hair with the Y styler. It's just totally up to you how you want to do your hair. But I think I have great bounce and a lot of shine from this iron to say that I only wash and shampoo my hair. And again, you can do what you want. You can use a heat protecting spray. I don't use one. But it's totally up to you if you want to use one for your hair. They have a lot of uh, different sprays out there you can use. So. Yeah, with that uh, wide style, one stroke, you're done. With that one, um, it's more close to like the edges of your hair. If you want to get the longer pieces, definitely go with the wide styler. But again, you can use the one inch on your whole head if your hair is definitely my length with no problems. So now we're done. And as you see, I got the bounce. I definitely need a trim. But like I said, I'm not getting one until after my sew-in. But everything came out perfect. Still got the body and the shine. Straight from the south with thoughts and I think it came out beautiful. Teach you how to flood, I ain't that hair with no burns. I give you my time just to teach you fly, winging it sometimes. But hey, the sister tries what you need to And this is bone straight. Y'all know I've been the curl this up and wrap myself up as I did after this video. But I just want to show you guys how you get the bone straight look with your Izunami iron. And I definitely accomplished that with the eye. All done. So now I want to show you guys something else. Right here, I'm just going to take a part in the middle and I'm going to section it off. And I'm going to show you if you have the short styler, how you can make a paper curl. I'm not going to do the whole entire look. But I'm showing you how you can make a paper curl with the short style. There you go. So now I'm going to show you with the wide style on how you can get your little short edges around the side. Or if you have short hair, definitely go towards the back of your hair. Just use your stop, short style and you're good to go. So thank you guys for joining me for this review. I'll see you guys next time. And on top of that, I host contests. But back to this, they crap potatoes and boiled shrimp. Did I tell you my peanut butter was a symphony brownies? You can't beat. Taste my pepper steak, cat breakfast with me. During the Super Bowl, impress your guests with buffalo wings from me. Yours truly, a tear. The best beauty expert out, baby. Heard of one I stand. If not, I suggest you check for me. Lately, I've been grinding, delivering.